Hi guys, Stuart from Solitech. Just wanted to uh, show you a little bit about thicknesses with multi-body sheet metal parts. So I've got a part here, it's got three sketches, um, sort of a, a U-shaped section, a uh, section over the top that looks the same, and then a couple more just to, to give you an illustration. So I'm going to take that first sketch and make a base flange. So where we go, we start to make our base flange. As you can see from the sketch, the material is going outside, so I'm going to go material inside, and we'll just make that just for simplicity, we'll make that a blind, uh, a mid-plane extrusion. Let's say something like 80 millimeters. So we've just got a, a little box sort of section starting to be developed. I'll put my material thickness in as two millimeters, and I'll put my default bend radius as two as well. All right. So there we go. We've got our first first base flange starting to be created. Looks okay on screen. So we'll go okay. So there's my first base flange. So what happens is we get this uh, little sheet metal folder. And there's our first sheet metal component. We, if we look at that feature, you can see here's the here's the material thickness. Uh, sorry, here's the material thickness. Here's the bend radius. So I'm just going to go okay to that. Now at the same time as we made our sheet metal part, our solid bodies folder is turned into a cut list, and we've got an equations folder that has a linked property thickness that's created to um, sort of capture the thickness of the material as we go. Okay, I'm going to go to my second sketch and say, right, I'd like a uh, make a base flange out of that one. So I'm going to start to create that. Again, I'm going to reverse the direction of the material so it's going outside, so we've got a bit of space in between the two. We'll use the same end conditions for that, say 80 millimeters, and there you can see it going over the top. Now on this one, I've decided, oh, let's change the bend radius. I'm going to make that 1.5, and we'll OK. We'll go OK because we can override the default parameters with this little checkbox. OK, so if we wanted to, we could change the thickness. I'll leave it as it is for now. Okay, so we've made our second little little portion. Got a couple more sketches there, so and as you can see in the sheet metal folder, we've got another piece. Go to the next one. Let's go, okay, I'll make a piece of sheet metal out of that. We'll use the same end condition. I'll make this one a little bit further so you can see it sticking out the front there. So there it is. Uh, once again, we've got this checkbox to override the default parameters. There's our material thickness. Here's our bend radius. Oh, we're going to make that three mil for our bend radius on that one. And we'll just go, okay. Okay, so slightly bigger bend, but everything else is the same. Another little element turned up in our sheet metal folder. Take the last one, build a, another piece of sheet metal. We'll um, go for the same mid-plane end condition. I'll go for my 90 again, so we can see that second one coming through. Let's just flip the direction of the material. So again, it sits inside what we've already got. And once again, we'll make it a big difference. This one, 5 mil bend radius, and we'll go OK. So we've ended up with four sheet metal elements. Okay, we can see there's our cutting list. When we right click and update that, we get our little, little cut list items. And if we look at the properties of that, okay, we can see all of our all of our information down in here. And one of the pieces of information it's got is the sheet metal thickness. You can see that that's two millimeters. If we go to the next one, that's also two millimeters. Go to the next one. Okay, the length is 90 this time, but again it's two millimeters. So we're getting all that information. Now, I've had a question from um, people in the past uh, that, uh, that says, okay, well, what happens if I go to my, my initial piece and change its material thickness and say, oh, I'd like that to be three millimeters. So we go three mil. And because um, we've changed that, we've now got one piece that's at three millimeters and the rest are at two millimeters. Yet in our equations folder, our thickness property has remained at two. Okay, now the reason for that is when we have created our sheet metal parts uh, or our sheet metal features, We've had this checkbox of override default parameters turned on. So that allows us to have independence both in thickness and in the bend radius with each of the sheet metal pieces that we create. Okay, if we go into each of our um, sheet metal features, uh, let's just go back to there, edit that feature, and we turn off that override parameters, you'll notice that that 3mm material thickness that I put in has defaulted back to my standard thickness of 2mm. If we go to the second one, edit that feature, and turn off the default parameters, you'll notice that the bend radius has reset back to 2 millimeters, and I had it as 1. Let's go OK. If we go to this third piece and edit that feature, where we set the bend radius to 3 and we turn off the default parameters, it's returned to 2. And if we take the fourth one and edit that and uh, turn off the default parameters, you'll see that the radius has gone back to 2, the material thickness is 2. Now, if I want to change that material thickness, we can edit that initial feature, which set up our parameters overall, and we can say, actually, you know what? That material thickness should have been three, and we go, okay, and all of them have changed to a material thickness of three, and our thickness property has changed to three. So I hope that helps you to understand what's going on with a multi-body sheet metal part, 
and how the thickness can be applied either to all of these components to be exactly the same or to be different for each individual component. Um, I hope that's been uh, helpful for you and we'll see you again another time. Thanks. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please check out our channel or the links on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe to receive updates on our recent videos.